I wonder how well you think you guys, after going through the non-con, are prepared for Big Ten play, which starts in a little over a week. Um, I think for the, for the most part, we, we did a good job on um, non-conference. I think this team really grew. Um, I think we correct some of our flaws or some of the things we weren't good at um, game by game. Um, but, you know, you can't really know um, where you're at until we, we, we get into uh, you know, the Big Ten Conference. Could you just specify on that a little bit more on the specific things that you felt like you got better at? Like? Um, <clears throat> defending, rebounding, um, playing together, uh, trusting the offense. Um, you know, Coach made a lot of changes. Um, I think he got better with the rotations. I don't have anything um, to say yet. Gina, for you, how do you feel um, compared to last year and at the end of the non-con? Sorry. Going into this, uh, just where you were last year, I think it was 9-4, and 9-12-1. and mm -hmm. one. How much of a difference is that? Um, well, I mean, it's a big difference because we only have one loss. Uh, I feel more confident going into, into uh, the Big Ten Conference. Uh, we have, do have to continue to get better in practice. I mean, we won't really know where we're at until we're in the Big Ten, so. DJ, uh, how much do you think playing at the end of last year helped Gino um, get to where he's at right now and, and contribute? Uh, it helped him a lot. Because, um, you know, last year we can kind of see what kind of role he was going to play for us. You know, coming and shutting down team's best guy or defending another team's best guy, uh, being scrappy. Um, he's gotten a lot better since last year. Um, I think that's, that's what's helping us out. He comes off the bench and adds attitude. He plays gritty. Um, he comes and do so many great things for us. DJ, to close with this sort of game, the non-con, where not everybody has to play a ton of minutes, you get a lot of guys from the deep end of the bench in, how good was it to, to have that kind of effort when you had been through so many tight games? Um, it's good. You know, in the, in the non-conference off on a high high level, you know, get, get some guys rest, um, get some of you know, the walk-ons and the guys who don't really uh, play regularly uh, to get them in the game. Um, like I know you probably have seen we was fired up to see some of you know, the guys who don't really get in. Because um, we know we know how, how, how much they mean to this program. I mean, you guys may not see them, but th what they do off the court um, in practice every day, helping us get better, um, they're into what we do, and we appreciate them. DJ, this might be hard to quantify, but it seems like you guys are having fun out there. I mean, how much fun are you having playing basketball right now, and how much does that play into how you guys are performing? Um, it's, it, it goes a lot into it. Because, um, you know, we're out there, like you said, having fun. Uh, we like each other. We trust each other. We're giving, we're being selfless. Um, you know, we look at the record, and we, we don't really care who scores or who's making the play. We're just out there just, you know, just playing for each other. Um, that's the great thing about this group. Did you go so far before the season to look at the non-con and, and kind of project for yourselves where you thought you might be? At this point, like, did you think that 12 and 1 was, was kind of a reasonable expectation, or is that beyond maybe what you guys thought you would do? Well, we always thought we, we had a chance to be, you know, a great team. Um, to be 12 and 1 right now, just um, I don't know, it's, I don't know how to explain the feeling. It feels good um, just to see um, our hard work paying off. Um, but uh, we, we didn't really, I didn't have any predictions. I'm sure the guys didn't. We just wanted to take them game by game. Um, I think that we realize that you know we, we can how much better we can be. Our, our loss at Charlotte, in, uh, double overtime, and that kind of sparked like man, like we, we can really get, get stuff done. Um, so I think that helped us out. And DJ, kind of on, on the same theme, uh, Gino was kind of asked this before. You've been at this point of seasons going into the Big Ten. Do you feel as confident as you felt at this point going into conference play, knowing how difficult the conference is? Oh uh, yeah, we, we're extremely confident. Um, we, we feel like we, we stick to Penn State basketball, defending, rebounding. We 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 can play with any team in the country. Um, so yes, our confidence level is just you know is at all time high right now. We we want to keep it going.